Welcome back to the B-Sides, I'm Foster. Now in today's video, I'm going to be answering the age-old question, are you actually going to make the how to make beats with a GameCube controller video or no? Yes, yes I am. Now if you're still here, I'm gonna give you the rundown of how it's done, uh, or just how I do it, which I think is the simplest. So here's what you're gonna need. One of these, and one of these. This is a simple GameCube to USB thing. You should probably get the four port one because this one sucks. You're gonna wanna plug this into here, then you're gonna go ahead and plug this into, into here. And now the boring part. Now if you've done steps one and two correctly, you should have a GameCube controller plugged into an adapter plugged in uh, to your computer. Now I'm using a, a Mayflash adapter. I don't know if it works with the Wii U because uh, I, I think it's gotta have a PC switch. Um, uh, an important thing being, uh, make sure that is switched to, in fact, PC. You're gonna wanna open up this, uh, this here program controller mate um, there's a couple other ones out there that'll do it but this one's by far the most versatile um, so anyway make sure that switch to PC and you should see whoa what the heck you should see uh, this guy this here popping up and then you're gonna push buttons and holy shit it's lighting up all right so the next thing you're gonna want to do is you push the buttons you see that these these are the button inputs from the thing you're gonna push the a button let's see this one lights up you drag that in. it's pretty straightforward you're gonna go to MIDI outputs um, which are right there um, and select uh, maybe maybe this one, yeah, and just attach to that guy, and then you can go right here and pick whatever note you want. Uh, this program's kind of built incorrectly because it says note zero is C zero, but it's actually C minus two. You know, it it won't affect you too much if you go to C three, it'll actually be C one in real data. But anyway, so then you push you push a button, and then it's triggering this MIDI note. Um, what you're gonna want to do is make sure that it's uh, the virtual MIDI output is selected so that you can go into any. Holy shit! What? Oh, <laughs> so that's kind of handy. Now, uh, now the C's are correct. Disregard everything I said previously. Um, moving right along. So you're pushing this button. You got a virtual MIDI out set up. So you're gonna go over to Ableton Live here. That's my uh, that's my voice right there. Um, grab a MIDI track and I mean grab a blank drum rack. Um, and you should be getting output from what you got. You're gonna have to Chris go away. Uh, you're gonna have to uh, make sure that your controller mate input is set in, um, and if that's if that's all good, then you sh you should be all set to go here. Um, just make sure your track is set to all ins or controller mate. Doesn't matter if you're if you've gotten this far, you probably know what you're doing in terms of a f audio d d workstations. Um, and then yeah, you could take this concept and just go to town with it. Grab uh, this time, make it uh, what. A, n a new note. Um, yeah, grab this one. I don't know what that is. Let's stop it. Um, and then you got you pushing buttons, and then you got music. That's all I got. It really is that simple. Um, this is super open ended. Uh, lots of things you could do. Um, just go to town, okay? And get yourself a. GameCube controller and and a and a heck a heck dangin converter and then you and then you're making music and then then you're a hit and then thanks for sticking around I'm Foster I hope this helps I'm gonna go put down an entire bottle of Sunny D because that shit's amazing.